Hi guys, welcome to Talking Test Stuff. Uh, so today we are going to roll back to the stock room on the Samsung Galaxy J6 Plus. So I guess there's no other video on YouTube at the time I'm posting this. So basically, we are trying to install the uh, you know the Samsung One UI custom. I mean like the stock room on our phone, which the phone actually came with. So currently this is running the um, Lineage OS 17, which is Android. 10 I guess yeah it is so as you can see that is really joyous so um, so how do we roll back so just let me tell you okay first of all we need to get this file right we need to get this file uh, called the uh, stock room tarball file let me show you so we go to samfromware.com and in here when it loads up, we'll go to SMJ 610 and select whichever one is here. So in my case, it's actually SMJ 610F. So I'm just going to go with that. And so once that loads up, okay. So once I loads up, I'll select my country from here. So in my case, it's India. So happens. Okay. So then you will see all the list of uh, you know binaries that's available for your device. So in my case, just click on the version that you want to download, and uh, that is the latest one, of course. So. yes i have actually chosen to download on the browser so when you click this yeah this will happen and it will start downloading so i have actually downloaded this file so it's actually right over here so i'm just going to temporarily move this to the documents so let that be there for some time so next thing what you need is this you know odin odin is necessary for flashing to samsung devices so once that's done you just need to go back I mean, like let's just put this file over here okay so i'll just extract that file just like this with 7 zip and i will extract to this folder okay so this will take some time like two minutes back so while that is happening let me show you how you can go to the download mode Now you do need your USB cable for this, like, you know, this end goes into the PC, this end to your phone, right, you know. So I'll just plug this onto my PC. Okay, so, and this, I will plug it right onto my phone, see. Okay, you'll hear a sound. Okay, once that's done, you need to press the power button and completely power off your phone. Okay, now, just let's remove the cable see and what we're going to do is press the volume up and volume down together and then plug this in okay this is what you will see in that case so when you see that screen what you need to do is press the volume up okay press the volume up you will see this so when you see this keep it aside that's what you need to do so I can see that this has actually finished right now. So yes, here is here it is. So that's the file. So I'll just go ahead, open Odin. Okay. Okay. With the BL part, I will be choosing this file. BL. Okay. Okay. It will take some time actually. Need some verification and all. the AP this is what you can expect for the most time to take okay so okay now 
Do we have a CP file? Yeah, we do. CSC file. I will go with the CSC file over here. Open it. Okay. Okay. So once you see this added and no disconnected, like removed in any way over here, you can just go ahead and press start. And bear with in mind that the phone is actually right over overside and just don't move it in whatever way possible. Okay. Never move the phone and just hit on start. So why you shouldn't, uh, you know, move the phone? It's because the cable connection might break and the software might, you know, be cut in half and uh, it might cause some partitioning issues in your phone so yeah just better not go for that and just you know let it happen so this will take some time so take some rest So guys, this step will actually take some time. So uh, you can see that the whole flashing process was already done in like 4 minutes 30 seconds. So it barely takes like 5 minutes to do this stuff. And um, so for this, you'll have to wait for like 10 minutes I guess. So once that's done, I'll, you know, update you. And if in case, if this, if this didn't like go in the way as you planned, right? If it didn't go like this. So just leave that in the comments below and I'll be sure to help. So maybe some of you have already asked that question in the comments below. So just search for the comment first and then ask it. I mean, that would be better, right? So yeah, this is it. So once this is done, the, the, your phone will be like as normal as you have bought it. So just set it up, like give the Wi-Fi password and stuff and choose this info calling and the extra, etc. Just do that stuff. And yes, your phone will be like back to your stockroom for good. So that's it. Thank you for watching and um, please like share and subscribe this video if you find this helpful and um, thank you guys for watching see you next time goodbye